Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I am finally doing an update on my boob job. Almost two years ago exactly, I got breast surgery and I did post a video at the time sharing all the information. I had vlogged the experience, recovery, etc. I think I was only like five months post-op at that point. So I will put a link to that original video in the description in case you didn't see it. So yeah, like I said, I am two years post-op now. The middle of October will be two years exactly. Just to recap what I got done, I got a breast augmentation. So I got implants and then I got a lift on one side. My surgery was more of a corrective situation. Starting out, I was about a 34C, 36B bra size, but my issue was that my breasts were two completely different shapes and they were very flat up top. I had a pretty decent amount of tissue on the bottom and like along the outer sides, but they were very far apart and like completely flat up top. Regular bras always had a bunch of gapping at the top. My left one looked pretty Pretty normal. Like I said, it was pretty flat up top, but it was like relatively perky and like a normal round shape. But my right one was a little bit more of like a tubular shape and it kind of pointed down more. And the areola was also noticeably bigger on the right side. I ended up getting a lollipop lift on my right side, which what they do is they make an incision around your areola and then a vertical incision down the bottom in the middle. And they just remove the extra tissue so that it like lifts your breast up. And then I did get the implants to just fill out that flatness where I was lacking volume just to give them like a nicer shape really. So I got 445 cc implants. I said this in my original video, don't get caught up on the cc's like i literally just told my doctor what i wanted i explained my issue to him and the concerns i had and then i showed him pictures of what i liked and what i didn't like and he measured my chest and he told me what he recommended and i just went with his suggestion because obviously he is the expert so even though at the time i was like oh 445 that sounds huge but looking at me now and I'll show you some full body shots so you can see but I don't think that they are too big they're like perfectly proportionate to my body so 445 cc's they are smooth round silicone gel also known as gummy bear implants I got moderate profile and they are under the muscle and then like I said I got the lollipop lift on the right side so like I said I started out wearing a 34C bra and now I'm a 34D. Really, they're not that much bigger than what I was starting with. I just kind of like filled in where that volume was lacking to like even it out with the volume I already had at the bottom. So how do they feel? How do they look? Can I feel them? Do they feel like natural to the touch? I think that they feel really natural. I was really worried before getting the surgery that it was going to feel like there was a foreign object in my body. Like that was just a weird concept for me to grasp. But honestly, they, I think because I already had breast tissue to begin with, had I been like really, really thin and completely flat chested and didn't have as much natural tissue to kind of like cover over the implants, then they would maybe not feel as natural. I do feel like up top where I didn't really have any natural breast tissue, they feel like a little bit, not hard, like they're definitely very soft, but they feel a little bit more firm, I think, up top here. But then down on the bottom where I had breast tissue, when you feel them, you're feeling that natural breast tissue that's on top because the implants are under my muscle, like I said. So they feel like complete, I feel weird doing this on camera, but they feel completely natural unless you are experienced with implants or you have them yourself and you kind of like know what to look for it's funny because now that i have my boobs done i can tell looking at somebody if there's a real or not most of the time like i just i have like that eye for it now but i think that if you didn't know you would have no idea and i can't like feel the implants in my body the only time that i can is if I'm doing something that is contracting my chest muscles. Say I'm like pressing down really hard on something or if I like need to lift myself up, sometimes I can feel like when my muscles are squeezing together, I can feel that like there's something there. It's, I don't know, it's like a weird sensation. It's not painful or anything, but it's a little like, oh, 
there's my implants, but they don't interfere with anything. Like I can sleep on my stomach. I'm not a stomach sleeper, but I can lay on my stomach, no problem. They're not uncomfortable. They don't get in the way. I can work out lift weights, do everything normal like I did before. For the first several months to maybe even the first year, I do remember getting like occasional little like nerve pains, which weren't even, they weren't painful, but like I could feel, you know, like when you have surgery, some nerves kind of, your, your nerve, it, it, it like messes with your nerves. So um, especially on the right side where I had that lift, I would every so often, I would just feel like a little like pinch, like my nerves were kind of like waking back up sort of, but that's about it. And I have full feeling, I mean, even right after my surgery, I, I never lost nipple sensation. The only thing that's like sometimes uncomfortable is I've noticed if I'm wearing like a super, super tight bra or a top, after a few hours, it starts to kind of hurt a little bit because everything's just getting like pressed in so much. But I mean, I feel like that's just like, anytime you're wearing tight clothes in general, like it's gonna hurt and feel uncomfortable after a while, you know? So I don't even really think that that's like so much of an implant thing, but that's the only time that I really like feel any discomfort. I do wanna talk about breast implant illness because I know this is a very popular topic and it's something that I get asked about a lot. If you're thinking about getting your breast done and you are unfamiliar with breast implant illness, absolutely do your research. There's tons of information out there now and that is a risk with getting breast implants. It's not a guarantee. Not every person that gets implants is going to experience breast implant illness, but it is something that can happen. But so far, knock on wood, two years in and I have not had any issues, but I do keep an eye out. That's something that I'm very conscious of. As far as any regrets, I know a lot of women talk about regretting the size that they went with, wishing oftentimes that they had went a little bit bigger. Personally, I am very happy with the size that I went with and I'm glad that I just went with my doctor's recommendation. There are times every so often where I kind of almost wish that I went a little bit smaller. And I think especially like within that first year, I really was like, holy crap, I should have went smaller. Like these are way too big. But I think as time has gone on and they've really settled and like fully healed internally, now I think that they are like the perfect size. I think they're perfect and proportionate to the rest of my body. Do your research, go to a doctor that does the kind of work that you like. Find someone that you really feel like you can trust and then go with their recommendations. And if you are scared of them looking too big, maybe go down one size. But if you're scared of them not being big enough, maybe go up a size because it is hard to tell when you're doing like your pre-op and you're trying on the implants because obviously once they're actually in your body, they're gonna look different and once they heal and settle and all of that, but. I have no regrets. One thing that I wanted to talk about a little bit is body confidence because I've always kind of struggled with my body image, especially when it comes to my weight and getting my boobs done. I wasn't even really thinking about how it was going to make me feel about my overall body image and how it was going to change my confidence one way or the other, you know? And I do really think that if you struggle with confidence, yeah, plastic surgery can help to an extent, but if you're just struggling mentally, I think that sometimes it can be a slippery slope because once you go and get one thing fixed, then you can start noticing other things that you wanna tweak and it can get a little bit out of control. So by no means am I saying like, oh, if you're struggling with confidence and body image, go get your boobs done, it's gonna fix all your problems. Definitely not, but from my personal experience, getting my boobs done has absolutely boosted my confidence and has just made me love my body so much more. I think because I just wasn't proportionate before, I just always like hated my upper body. I always felt like, oh, my arms are so big, my shoulders are so broad. But now that I have boobs that are proportionate to everything else, everything just feels more balanced and I just feel like way more confident. And I just love my curves and the shape of my body. And lastly, let's talk about scars. I know I get a lot of questions about that. The only thing I feel 
about my breasts now that make them not perfect are the scars. And scarring is really just going to depend on what you do as far as aftercare. And it also comes down to genetics. So if you are a lighter skinned person, you most likely are going to have lighter scars. They're probably going to heal pretty well. My mom is Italian. Her scars heal pretty well. My dad is Caribbean. His scars heal horribly. So I ended up taking after my dad when it comes to that, unfortunately. So I'll show you a close up of what my scars look like. They are quite dark and they are raised which that's the part that bothers me the most. So my left side where I just got the implant, I just have a scar underneath my boob and that one doesn't really bother me as much because you literally cannot see it unless I lift my breasts up or you're like looking at me from like down below. But my lift scar on the bottom, it's completely flat. You definitely can notice it, like you can see it, but it's pretty light for the most part, it doesn't bother me, but the scar that's around my areola is just like the scar on my left side. It's dark, it's thick. From a distance, it just looks like the same color as my nipples. But the problem with that is it makes the areola look larger than it actually is. And the whole point was to make that side smaller so that they would be even. They are even, like he did a really good job. They are the same size, but the scar around it kind of stretches it out and makes it, you know, look bigger. But that doesn't even bother me. Like naked, I don't care about the scars. They don't bother me. What does bother me is when I am going braless, because the scar is raised, you can see it through my clothing and it literally just looks, I don't know if you can tell in this top, but it literally just looks like a bullseye around my freaking nipple. That is something to keep in mind if you were also a brown skinned girl. I put cocoa butter on them religiously. I got the scar healing gel from my surgeon's office and I was putting that on them in the beginning, but I feel like there wasn't really anything that I could have done to make them heal differently. So I'm just gonna kind of like let it be. My dad and my brother both scar the same way I do and they have both had surgeries and their scars did, after years, they have like flattened out and gone down. And the scars will still get like a weird sensation every so often. So I can tell that they're still healing. I've considered maybe going back to the doctor and seeing if there's something that we can do. I know I can get like laser treatments for them. Maybe that's something that I would eventually do in the future if they don't eventually get better on their own. But to be honest, they don't bother me enough that it's like a priority for me to like go get it taken care of, you know? But it is just like the one little thing that I feel makes them like kind of imperfect. And I'll take the scars all day long over the uneven situation I had to start with. So I think that's pretty much everything. If you have any other questions for me, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will insert some footage of me wearing like a few different types of tops so you can see how they look a little bit better. But other than that, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out a lot. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.